What's up guys, Top Dog here and I'm coming back with another video and this one is about how to get Xenophage. So I'm going to show most of the quest to get this and I will come out with another like part two of the video showing how to or best way to defeat the final boss but I will go up to the part where you have to do the Pit of Heresy. So, um, first step is to light these statue things, and um, if you're like looking at the internet, hey, wait, where's the exact, qu uh, where's the exact uh, um, sequence to get this? There is no sequence that you have to follow. I literally just messed around and lit all the torches, and then I got it out of like five tries. So it's not that hard. But after you light every single one a chest will drop um, kind of around where the Deathbringer chest was but it will just uh, appear out of nowhere and you have to collect that and the next step will be emergence so then you'll have to go to the, I think the anchor of light place right here and you'll have to light some um, little basin things and uh, you have to follow those in a specific order though you have to um, basically there there well there's six of them and you have to go in a specific order and if you don't follow the specific order it will just the torch thing I'm holding will just dissipate and you'll have to start all over again but luckily I spent about um, one hour I'm trying to figure out how to do this and you can do it in like one minute so then you uh, light the one closest to you and then you go uh, behind that little room or building there um, all the way in front of you and then uh, you actually wanted to go to the one building I just passed and I'll go into it right now and light the one back in the corner then you want to go left straight straight over um, into that building there and if you're like low on time you can just jump up and like this and it'll still give it to you and then the next one you want to go to is actually on top of this building I went under it but then I corrected myself but it's actually on top to the left so I was an idiot there um, so that's the uh, the fifth one and then you want to go up on top of that round building there and light the final one and then you want to go interact with this uh, pillar thing and um, once you do this it won't have a timer on torchbearer so you can just take as much time as you want uh, but then it will give you the next quest for it next quest step and that will be to go to four or all of the lost sectors of the moon and enter in a specific code um, on like runes of the wall in there so once you interact with the pillar there is one uh, there is a lost sector right by there so I would suggest going to that one first and you'll see my amazing sparrow skills right there um, not that awesome at sparrow skills but um, yeah, just follow the path I do and I will be cutting out most of me doing the lost sector just cause it's not the point of the video right now and um, I'll, I'll, I will be just showing the uh, um, specific code to get the rune and chest to spawn so I will come back in just a second alright so you've done the lost sector good for you now this is the easiest one um, and I will be doing it really slow so even if you 
don't really see the code you'll be able to get it so the first one is bottom left bottom right top middle and top middle again then you want to go interact with the chest and if you are in a fire team everyone has to interact with the chest you, you can't just be in a fire team and one person get it everyone has to interact interact with the chest so uh, the next lost sector you want to go to is you don't really have to go to a specific one but I will be cutting out most of this one because I was an idiot and I couldn't find where the lost sector is and um, so you will see like part of a video and then it goes to the other part of the video but that is just a cut out scene of me searching and searching to find a lost sector so once you uh, go to this one just do the same thing as you did the last time kill the boss and uh, then go to like the exit of the um, the lost sector and um, so yeah the next part will um, be this uh, servitor so just kill the servitor and go out this door and then just follow the code I show right here So top left, middle, middle, bottom left, middle right. And you will have successfully the second chest and you are 50% done. So give yourselves a pat on the back. Or half a pat on the back and then go to the lo next lost sector which I chose the one in the hell mouth so you just have to go there and I use the public event place to actually navigate and find it and um, as you can see my season rank and I don't rank up that fast so uh, many people who are about like 200 rank that spend 24 hours a day playing it and uh, trying to get it and just doing everything they can to be the first one to get to 200 I don't even know if that's a thing but I uh, kill the uh, boss and everything and just so you know I did not complete the rune the first time around. This one is definitely the hardest one, but I spent about 30 minutes of trying to complete this one and I was so frustrated. But if you do mess up on one, you can just go out of the lost sector, go back in, and it will have like the same code on it so you can just follow the same thing. And there it is, you are three fourths of the way done. And you just have to go to the last lost sector, um, which I don't remember all the names. It's the one in Sorrows Harbor, if you follow the correct order. And personally, I just love this part because there's so many red bars and like five foot radius. You can just farm kills with, a, with your gun that you like. And if you do like the video, I want you, you don't have to, I want you to like, share, or subscribe to my channel. 
I would really, I really could use it, and I would really appreciate it as well. So, once you have completed the lost sector, you do not want to follow the path I do the first time. You don't want to go up in that little uh, hole right there. You want to go left of the chest and go right into the uh, um, tunnel, per se, right there. So, yeah, d just don't go where I did. Um, so you just want to go out, straight up right there. And then the, you'll see the rune, and just put in the code I put in. Middle right. Middle left. Middle, middle. Middle, middle again. Middle left. Top, middle, bottom, middle, middle, middle. If you like the video, I, again, just like it, and I will see you next time for the second part of Xenophage.